suicide attack on former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi just did not kill him but also 15 others as well. But the Supreme Court invoked special powers to grant freedom to the six killers of Rajiv Gandhi and other innocents. The convicts were released but an all-out political war has broken out over the Supreme Court's decision wherein the Congress has called the verdict erroneous and is blaming the Modi government for the release of the convicts. The Congress has also hinted at a legal review of the Supreme Court's decision. ये एक तरीके से कहें तो वॉर अगेंस्ट द स्टेट थी उसमें केवल उन्होंने राजीव गांधी को नहीं मारा था राजीव गांधी होने वाले प्रधानमंत्री थे उनको मारने के साथ साथ एलटीटी का पूरा उद्देश्य था कि हमारी जो नीति है खासकर एलटीटी और लंका को लेके श्रीलंका को लेके जो नीति है वो बदले मतलब जिस जिस जिन लोगों ने ये हत्या देश की प्रभुता को बदलने के लिए हमारी विदेश नीति को बदलने के लिए हम पर प्रभाव डालने के लिए की थी उनको किस तरीके से माफ कर सकते हैं now, but even as the Congress criticizes the decision, their ally in Tamil Nadu, DMK, has hailed the move by Supreme Court, going on to call it a historic verdict and a victory for humanity. The Congress has so far not broken their silence on DMK's stand, but the BJP has hit out at the grand old party for its so-called double speak, wherein the Saffron Party alleges that Gandhi's orchestrated drama of forgiveness and have surrendered to the DMK. Well, it is debatable whether Supreme Court's decision to exercise its power and uh, set free assassins of former Prime Minister and 14 others is a right one or a wrong. But what is more disconcerting is the entire orchestrated drama by the Gandhis around forgiveness and the spineless surrender of the Congress party to the DMK, which is embracing the release of these assassins. That should really tell us that how certain parties, including the Congress and the DMK, are using murderers for their political purposes. But as the BJP questions the Congress, the AIM, uh, AIMIM president, Zazuddin Owesi, has hit out at the BJP by drawing a link to the remission of the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. Well, uh, it, it is a court decision of the Supreme Court. At least uh, the Supreme Court has given a decision, uh, you know, unlike BJP, uh, Mr. Modi's government who gave remission to killers and the rapists of Bilkis Bano daughters and her, her, her rapist. So it is, a, it is a decision given by the Honorable Supreme Court. So while, uh, of course, there are different reactions which are pouring in, wherein there is Congress who have slammed uh, the verdict by the Supreme Court. They are also mulling legal options to challenge the verdict. But on the other hand, LI, uh, DMK has come forward, which has called the verdict by the top court historic. Now, remember, Congress even disagreed with Sonia Gandhi's view, wherein Congress leader Abhishek Singhvi said that the party disagreed with former party president Sonia Gandhi on the issue when he was asked about Priyanka Gandhi's uh, meeting with convict Nalini and Sonia Gandhi herself giving a statement previously, wherein she said that, that she has forgiven the jailed convict. But on the other hand, remember, it was on Friday when Supreme Court ordered premature release of Nalini Sri Haran and and the RP Ravi Chandran serving life sentence in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case and the development attracted political reactions as well. Now the sharpest reaction came from the Congress and the grand old party criticized the release of the convicts uh, of former Prime Minister. Let me go across to my colleague Prapanch for more on this. Prapanch, this has also created a political upheaval in Tamil Nadu politics uh, wherein the DMK has come forward who have called uh, the decision by the top court historic which of course is leaving Congress rattled. That's right. Now, this is not the first time even earlier when in uh, May, Perry Wallen was released, a similar kind of a sentiment could be seen when wherein uh, Perry Wallen had met in Chennai, the Tamil Nadu chief minister back then. And now, once again, we could see that uh, once again, Congress uh, leaders, several of the Congress leaders are not happy with this, so that uh, these six other convicts have also been released. This has not gone down well with the Congress leaders who have been having a contrary opinion about this regard. However, we could see that uh, 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 Tamil Nadu Chief Minister had issued a statement uh, and uh, they had said that it is a... Uh, uh, in fact, a, a good decision. They have welcomed this particular uh, release and also VCK, MDMK and several other parties have welcomed this particular uh, release of all these convicts and they have stated that this is a 
victory for humanity is what they have uh, stated. So we could see that they have also stated that how uh, constantly DMK government had also worked for their release uh, uh, in, in early 2000. So we could see that they have been saying that this is a victory for humanity. And on the other hand, the Congress is holding a contrary view. Congress leaders actually are holding a contrary view in this particular regard. Notably, Prapanch, this is the first time Congress as party also dare to against the views of Sonia Gandhi. And uh, it is going to be interesting to see how releasing of convoys is going to play politics in the state of Tamil Nadu. Because as we discussed, that this is an absurd situation wherein the ally DMK has come forward backing the decision by the top court. That's right. In fact, uh, there are several leaders who are unhappy, but uh, what kind of decision uh, will Congress take is yet to be seen because there are several issues. They are in alliance. Uh, uh, I mean, they are in alliance for quite some time, DMK and Congress. And now will this issue be a thorn in their alliance is yet to be seen. However, we could see that even yesterday, uh, senior Congress leader Virudhi Chirtekal, with regard to the EWS, uh, they had, in fact, this is after uh, all the six convicts were set free by the Supreme Court. This after that, we could see that senior leader of the Congress, Virudhi Chirtekal, was, in fact, uh, taking a stand in the uh, issue of EWS, that they were supporting the uh, GMK's decision, the government's decision to uh, file an appeal with this regard of EWS verdict. And however, in the national perspective, they were holding a contrary view, including CPM was holding contrary view. But in, in Tamil Nadu, they said for the welfare of the people and for the social justice, they will be going ahead with the EWS, uh, challenging EWS verdict. So now you see that Congress has, though they have views, uh, divided views about these things, but uh, they have been... In fact, in, I mean, when it comes to regard to alliance, they have been, in fact, uh, uh, going on as very strong. But uh, we need to watch if it is a thorn in the forthcoming days. Yes, of course. We need to keep an eye out over the same because wherein the sharpest reaction came in from the Congress side, these developments have uh, created a political upheaval in the Tamil Nadu politics as DMK has welcomed the move. Thank you, Prapanch, for all those updates.